Hello and welcome to Spotlight on Jackson County, folks. If you are looking for a fun, filled family destination, it's this weekend in Ocean Springs. It's the 34th annual Peter Anderson Festival, and it's going to be bigger and better than ever. And boy, do we have some stuff to talk about. And in the studio with me today to help me tell you more about that is Miss Cynthia Dodd Sutton. She's the from the Ocean Springs Chamber. She's in public relations and everything else. <laughs> and uh, we have Brooke Goff. She is uh, a marketing associate associate for Mississippi Seafood from the DMR. DMR. Mm -hmm. Cynthia. Correct. Hey, 34th how are you? annual. Welcome to the show. Yes. Welcome to the show, Brooke. Uh, Busy week for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. It's only two of you plan well, two and a half of you planning this. And uh, last year we had 126,000 people to come to the event, yes. Economic impact of $23 million. Yes, for Ocean Springs and Jackson County. So, but this awesome. year it's going to be bigger than ever. It is, it is. We've expanded the footprint of the festival, added some new things to the festival, so it's going to be a really good year that you don't want to miss. No, you don't want to miss it. And Brooke, there's going to be some seafood being yes, cooked by there some is. very famous chefs. Yes that people can sample yes, and hopefully go to a restaurant in Ocean Springs mm -hmm. or Jackson County yes, and eat some of our Gulf seafood. Yep. yep. We'll have chefs from, um, uh, two chefs from Gulfport, two chefs from Biloxi, two chefs from Ocean Springs. They'll be cooking both days, cooking some of their favorite seafood dishes and providing samples. Mm -hmm. And we also have um, this year for the first time ever a um, social media campaign through the Ocean Springs Chamber Facebook page. It's called Pick Your Palette, where one of the three prizes that you can win is actually you can win to cook with one of the chefs mm -hmm. and a whole big um, a, a gift certificate to one of the chef's restaurants, um, a bunch of cooking utensils, a bunch of fun recipe books and other fun stuff from DMR that you can win um, and be a part of the festival this year yourself as just a spectator and actually get to stand up there with one of the chefs and cook. And cook. So this is the 34th year for the Peter Anderson Festival mm -hmm. and you're real young, you don't remember this, but I, I remember the first one there was a bunch of uh, tables in the depot parking lot and uh, now it's over 100,000 people attend this and they come from all over. That's right. We have 40, 400 vendors this year. 400 And vendors. they come from all over the United States. We have people from California, Wisconsin, North Carolina, Illinois, Indiana, Texas that come to the festival. We even have a, um, a lady who comes from Puerto Rico every year to be a part of the festival. So the vendors come from everywhere and the attendees even further away. <laughs> and this is a perfect opportunity for you folks to go take your family. It's, it's, it's like I said, it's a family event. Uh, sample some great food, mm -hmm. hear some great entertainment, and Christmas is right around the corner, and what better place to go and buy a tremendous variety of arts and crafts exactly. for presents for your family and friends for, for this Christmas. Yes, yes, and being surrounded by a hundred restaurants, and, I mean a hundred shops and 31 restaurants in downtown, there's plenty to, to shop at, to eat at, that um, so they'll be to, to get their holiday shopping out of the way and then hopefully come back next week or next month or next year. Well, these are not your ordinary uh, gifts. These are truly unique things that you can buy that you can't get anywhere else. Exactly. A lot of artists will bring their one-of-a-kind paintings or their one-of-a-kind jewelry that you can't really find anywhere else unless you come directly to one of those artist tents. And there's going to be some entertainment? Yes. The music stage is being built by the Beau Rivage, one of our sponsors. So it's called the Beau Rivage Music Stage. So for two days, we'll have um, local musicians performing on that stage in the food court area. Um, so that would be a really, really neat experience and we're really pleased to have Beau Rivage to partner with us this year and um, be, build that stage for us. Yes, Beau Rivage. And yeah. you've got... Um You've got a pen that, that we have here, and it's absolutely gorgeous, folks. I mean, it's only going to be sold during the festival. You can't buy it any other time. That's right. If at the Hard Rock Cafe at their tent, um, they are also one of our sponsors and have partnered with us to kind of make uh, Peter Anderson Festival reach a little further because if you ever get one of those pens from the Hard Rock anywhere, 
and you know a lot of people actually trade those pins throughout the nation throughout the world and now the Peter Anderson festival will be one of those pins that people can purchase at the festival but then trade with other um, people who visit Hard Rock throughout so, the year. So Cynthia this has really grown this has reached a uh, national level mm -hmm. uh, international uh, you were telling me that there was a couple that was from Sweden I think it was who happened to be visiting New Orleans heard about the festival and drove over here. That's right and that happens all the time. Um, we try to make sure it's, it's, it's not only about the people that come to the event, it's about the people who just hear about it and could come maybe through, you know, any of the 365 days a year. So we, we try to talk about the event and people from all over, like New Orleans, Mobile. We even um, got a phone call from a, a, a television station in Houston that had heard about it and just wanted some information about it. So it kind of reaches pretty far and a lot of those people will just, you know, drive for the day or stay for the weekend and enjoy the festival in the, the community. Well, you know, it's it, it, what they stay in our community. They're staying in our hotel rooms. They're, they're eating in our restaurants. They're enjoying the festival in Ocean Springs. But, you know, there's a chance for them to, to, to kind of branch out when they leave the festival and there are a lot of other things for them to see. Exactly. And I'm sure the Chamber is providing that information for them also. Exactly. So it's a chance to really showcase not only downtown Ocean Springs and the Peter Anderson Festival, but also Jackson County. So we all benefit from this. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. And with the seafood, it kind of gives that exposure to help people understand what we have on the Gulf Coast and what are in our Gulf Coast restaurants. Speaking right. of seafood, Brooke, you mm -hmm. were telling me before the show started that uh, you travel around and you do these things with these mm -hmm. big chefs from different big cities yes. and they insist upon using Gulf, Gulf seafood. seafood in their restaurants. That's right. Um, what, uh, what we do at the, with the seafood marketing program is we, um, we travel around to different food shows, culinary events and things like that as much as we can fit into our schedule and we share seafood with um, the culinary world you know all around and it was amazing to me um, in starting you know with the seafood marketing program to see the chefs in larger um, cities, New York, Chicago, you know that name and request and demand even Gulf Seafood. Um, it is the healthiest, it's the best quality, um, and we're just proud to represent all over. So we kind of, with this event, within the event, uh, the Mississippi Culinary Pavilion, we really wanted to kind of bring that home. Um, with it. It's a great fit with the Peter Anderson Festival to showcase the culinary art here on the Gulf Coast that we have. And uh, so we represented it, I think, well, by choosing two chefs from Gulfport, two from Biloxi, two from Ocean Springs. And um, each of them will prepare their favorite, you know, Gulf seafood dish. And um, all of the festival attendees um, will, you know, get to just kind of watch them perform and, uh, you know, what, like all of the different elements, the ways that they can prepare and cook fresh seafood. And um, then, you know, get a little sample and uh, then get to go and shop and uh, support all of the local restaurants in the area too. You know, that's great that you're getting out there and you're, you're talking to all these chefs and you're showing them about, you know, Gulf Seafood and, mm -hmm. and that's not only helping them, but it's also helping the people who go out there every right. day. Our local fishermen. Right. Our local fishermen. That's helping the industry. Right. And that's where we need a lot of help because mm -hmm. if they don't go out and catch the seafood, well, obviously we can't right. eat it, folks. Right. So that's, it's really great that you're partnering with that and you're developing a good marketing campaign because more mm -hmm. people find out about it, the more they're going to demand it, the more they're going to demand it, the more the, the local fishers are going to profit from it. Exactly. And people are really demanding to be here at the Peter Anderson <laughs> Festival, aren't they? I mean, yes. you've been working basically all year on this, haven't you? Yes. Uh, you, yep, two, we, two people basically, uh, other than the part-time, are at Ocean Springs a great, And a great team of volunteers that help us playing this all year round, great board of directors, um, staff, that we actually, um, soon as the festival's over with, we'll, we'll look at it, evaluate it, see what worked, what didn't, what we can improve on next year, and we already have people asking for what next year's dates are on the calendar. So the minute that this festival is over, we start working on next year's festival. I'm sure you may have vendors that are already signing up for the following year. Yes, we actually, one neat thing is we have, this year we have a website now called PeterAndersonFestival.com. So you can go there, um, 
vote for the pick your palate to cook with one of the chefs for this year's and then following the festival we'll be able we'll have the application online where they can just log in upload their photos and everything on the website so they can apply in a much more convenient setting than ever before and, and people all around the world are basically finding out about it via the internet exactly exactly it just keeps growing well, that's, that's a good thing for Jackson County. It's a good thing for Ocean Springs. And it's a good thing to have that venue to, I mean, there's so many things that are happening on the coast, folks. You just have to get out there and take advantage of it. Right. And speaking of that, the weather's going to be great. That's right. It's going to be absolutely <laughs> gorgeous weather for this. Uh, we got 400 vendors. We have different, different food. We got the seafood pavilion. You got two stages, did you say? There's Just one be? this year. Just one, but mm -hmm. a lot of entertainment. Exactly. Bo Ravage is building the stage. How impressive. Correct. It's great that uh, we're partnering with the Bo Ravage and Hard Rock. Yeah. And, and then our presenting sponsor, Blue Moon, um, actually brought to us two years ago the Blue Moon Art Project. So artists um, throughout the state of Mississippi get a chance to be a part of the festival and the winning person gets two thousand dollars in their artwork on the upcoming years marketing pieces such as the cups billboards t-shirts all kind of stuff so it's a really neat thing that we've partnered with our presenting sponsor on because they actually do the blue moon art project in about four or five cities throughout the nation it's starting to grow a little bit and we're lucky to be one of those towns throughout the nation with austin texas portland oregon that do this contest and we've got uh, the mugs here yes um, every thanks to um, you know uh, the peter anderson festival is in honor of peter anderson himself who created who started shearwater pottery and every year at Shearwater Pottery's um, tent at the festival, they do a commemorative pin that's only there for a limited amount of time. And you should see the people line up before the festival even starts at 9 a.m. People are lining up at the Shearwater booth just to get one of these commemorative mugs because when they're gone, they're gone. Wow, because well, they're all handmade. Correct. Mm -hmm. there's, this is not yep. machine stuff, folks. Yeah, I mean. but each one has its own little um, uh, neat little design. Like this one has the Patricia boat, and that's really neat because that was uh, uh, a boat that um, the Anderson family used as well throughout the, um, uh, you could see it at Horn Island and things like that. So it's kind of neat to see that each year they add a piece of their history to the mug. And it's a collector's mm. item. It is. And somebody who has one from years back, you know, as a collector's item, and I'm sure people are lining up just to get that. That's right. That's right. Just like that festival t-shirts. Right. The festival t-shirts that we have, well. and that's from this artwork here, and Correct. you're wearing the, the shirts that are available. Yep. And for the first year ever, Chris Stebley, who was an Anderson, um, actually did a circular design, and it's kind of neat because if you look at it, it tells the story a little bit of what Peter Anderson is known for. That's great. Mm -hmm. Ladies, we're going to have to take a short break. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back with more of this wonderful information about a fantastic weekend coming up here in back Jackson County, Ocean Springs. Don't go away. Welcome back to Spotlight on Jackson County. We are talking about one of the biggest events and the most fun event that we have here in Jackson County. That is the 34th annual Peter Anderson Festival in downtown Ocean Springs. It's not just Ocean Springs, it's the whole county. Everybody needs to go there. And to help me to tell you more, even more about it, we have Cynthia Dobson. She's the public relations specialist, manager of Ocean Springs Chamber. She's got other titles, but you know, we haven't got time for all of that. But anyway, <laughs> she's pivotal uh, a person in this. You're one of the big planners and you make all of this happen, along with a lot of other volunteers. Exactly. And uh, we were discussing that you have a lot of support from the uh, Ocean Springs cha um, City and all City them. Council. We couldn't do it without there. their couldn't support. Without I mean, their we support. take over the downtown streets for two days. Yeah, but that's <laughs> great, though. I mean, Ocean Springs is just kind of built for that, if you exactly. look at it. Exactly. And uh, we have Brooke Call. Mm -hmm. She is a uh, marketing associate with from Mississippi Seafood from the DMR. And Brooke, you're actually going to have a outdoor kitchen built mm -hmm. on the grounds of the Mary Sea. We are. Um, we have a, uh, a, a culinary pavilion be being set up. Um, it's going to be a 60 foot span and uh, we're going to have a, a small kitchen built inside of it uh, for the chefs to work their magic and have plenty of space to do it. Um, 
we uh, we're, we're just we're really excited about it this year. This is the first time we've done something like this. So it, on it, the coast. Yeah, it's not if you come to the Peter Anderson Festival. Let's just say when you come to the Peter Anderson Festival, go down there, go to this culinary tent, and uh, Cynthia, you were telling me you can get a commemorative recipe card. recipe card mm -hmm. of the recipe that the chef is Each cooking. Chef. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come listen to a chef get a get the card and make sure you have to come to all of them to get their individual cards. Well, mm -hmm. I know, mm -hmm. but you know you're going to get a sample too, mm -hmm. and you'll get to go home and try this recipe yep. for yourself. Mm -hmm. But another thing that you're going to be giving away mm -hmm. are cookbooks. Yes. Um, we uh, That's actually um, always the most uh, popular giveaway item that we have for the year. And uh, anyone locally even can stop by the DMR if you'd like um, in Biloxi on Bayview and pick up a recipe book anytime. Um, but we will be there, we'll have them on hand, come and see me. And uh, we'll give you, we have a shrimp recipe book, an oyster recipe book because oyster season does open next week. And uh, we also have a, a seafood recipe book that has different varieties of seafood dishes include some fish, oyster, shrimp. You know, so. we were talking during the break, you know, everybody cooks seafood on the coast, including myself, and we all have our way that we like to cook it, but you know, I, I like to, you know, experiment. But, you know, there's other tastes that can tempt mm -hmm. your palate out right. there, okay. and this is going to be a perfect way for somebody to go watch it being cooked, get the cart, and go home and try it yourself. Yes. Plus, mm -hmm. the sampling, folks, you got, you can't miss that, you're going to get to sample the food. Mm -hmm. exactly. This is fantastic, mm -hmm. Cynthia. It is. Uh, the, the chamber, I mean, hats off to you. You have been working very hard all year for this. This is going to be fantastic for the, for the city of Ocean Springs and the people of Jackson County. Yes, it'll be, it'll be a great f event, mm -hmm. a fun event. Yeah, it's 34th annual Peter Anderson Festival, and we were talking also during the break that the Internet has really helped you get the word out internationally. Yes, yeah, I mean, we you can go to our website at peteranderson.festival.com this year and find out directions on the park and ride so you know exactly where to go. Um, whichever way you're coming from, east or west, um, we have directions of how to get to our three park and ride locations at the um, Greyhound Stadium, the um, Upper Elementary School and Oak Park Elementary School, um, thanks to transportation from the YMCA and CTA. Um, you can pick up one of those buses or trolleys there and they'll drop you off at a couple of entrances. And one of the main entrances that they'll drop you off is right at the foot of the Seafood Culinary Pavilion. Um, so you can do that. Also on the website, we have the virtual um, festival guide, thanks to South Mississippi Living Magazine. That's on the website. You can check out the music schedule, what time, what musicians will be singing, what the chefs will be cooking, what time they'll be out there. And we also have even expanded, thanks to the internet, with a social media campaign, um, which reaches you know even further out um, to let people know about the festival. We've added a contest called Pick Your Palette, and you have to vote this week through Thursday to win one of three packages, including Cooking with the Chef, packages to the Hard Rock, and packages to the Beau Rivage. So the internet has really, really broadened our reach to just let people know about the festival and what the community here has to offer. And there are 400, folks, 400 vendors there. Yes. That are gonna be selling unique arts and crafts. That's right. Everything from jewelry to pottery to prints, uh, woodwork, sculptures, a little bit of everything. Perfect venue to take your family. Uh, the streets are all going to be safe. Ocean Springs in that area is going to be where you can just walk around and have a great time. Uh, the seafood tent or kitchen is going to be great to go get a sample and watch a mm -hmm. recipe watch being the heart. Right. yeah mm -hmm. I mean that's going to yeah. be absolutely cool and you've got six chefs um, we have uh, s six chefs and we also have an award-winning student team coming um, from St. Martin High School uh, they are actually uh, we took them to a national seafood competition and they won second place in oh, the Great American so cool. Seafood Cook-Off cook and they're bringing the same dish so that everyone at home gets to try their Gulf Coast Bowie base, which wins second place in the national competition. Well, that's cool that we're involving uh, culinary students mm -hmm. in this. Yeah, we're, we're very proud and of award yes. And award-winning ones award-winning ones at that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, of course, we're going to want that award-winning recipe to, to sample. Mm -hmm. That's right. Speaking of students, there are classes that are available at the Mary C. Yes, 
Um, the Seafood Culinary Pavilion will be on the grounds of the Mary C. O'Keefe Cultural Center, which is an old school house in Ocean Springs turned into a cultural center where they have a music studio, a history museum, uh, an art gallery there, and of course the culinary cafe where you can actually go and take classes. You can learn from um, like Knife 101, how to hold your knife, how to cut the correct way, to different dinners, especially during this um, Halloween season season there are really neat little dinners that you can sign up for and they're cooked to different type of Halloween dishes that you can be a part of and um, just learn a lot they also have afternoon tea on Tuesdays so um, some of those chefs will actually serve you some uh, tea and dessert so there's a lot at the Mary C in the culinary cafe that you can learn from and be a part of each day let's not leave out Halloween you just mentioned Halloween and this is going to air tonight, uh, and uh, Smith just talk about the downtown. Yes, October 31st from 6 to 8 p.m., downtown Ocean Springs will turn into a safe, family-friendly Halloween party, whereas the businesses come out from the retail shops to the restaurants to the banks um, to the offices, come out on Washington and Government Street, come out of their shops, all dressed up in Halloween gear and offer Halloween candy and treats to the festival, to the, the attendees to that event. And we also have some of the high school students that actually perform the thriller dance several times throughout the night in the body of the um, makeup of the Halloween party, the trick or treat down oh, the street. Oh, now that's cool. If you're looking for a safe family venue to go to, that, that's it. That's right. Bring your kids dress up, parents dress up, kids dress up. All the business owners will be dressed up in Halloween gear, so it's really fun. We, we have the fire department out there um, that actually, um, they give away stuff and they help us with the lighting of the downtown. So it's, it's a really, really good event to go to. But don't forget, this Saturday, and right. it kicks off at? At 9 a.m. And it goes until? Until 5 p.m. on Saturday, and then Sunday it goes from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., the Peter Anderson Festival. Downtown Ocean Springs. Yep. 400 vendors, folks. Yes. 400. You're, you're going to spend all day just yeah. going and looking. I mean, even if you just spent 10 minutes in each one of the vendors, <laughs> you're going to be there a long, long time. And you can't see everything that vendor has in 10 minutes. That's right. You have to come back both days. Right. That's we'll it. have different chefs on each day. We'll have different musicians on each day. We do the Blue Moon Art Contest, People's Choice Award, where the actual people who attend the festival get to vote on their favorite art piece. And we, of course, um, give those people a monetary award um, for the blue, through the Blue Moon Art Project. So there's a lot of interaction that people get. We also have a kid zone as part of the festival called T Lanyap that St. Alphonsus puts on every year. Um, so it's just a really big event that's family friendly. Right, and, and a you lot have to do. 31 restaurants available to you downtown. That's right, that's right. So, you know, come enjoy the festival, shop at our vendors, shop at some of our local um, retailers, and then take a break at one of our restaurants. And enjoy right, that's right, and listen <laughs> to some fine entertainment and go find out how to cook different uh, recipes for Gulf seafood, mm -hmm. courtesy of the DMR. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a great thing to do. Uh, Peter Anderson. Festival shirts are available? Yep, they're on sale now at three locations. Hill Your House, Poppies on Porter, and Shearwater Pottery through Friday at um, a pre-festival prices. And then Saturday and Sunday, while the supplies last, they'll be at the four entrances. So get your shirts now. That's right. Wear them to the festival. There's this uh, absolutely fabulous pin we have here that's only going to be available at the festival. Yep, at the Hard Rock booth at only. the Hard Rock booth only. In the food court. Yeah, in the food court. Uh, Shearwater has these commemorative mugs here uh, that, you know, these are going to go fast too, folks. I mean, these are going to go, uh, you, as you were telling me, Cynthia, people line up uh, to get these. And once they're gone, they're gone because these are all each individually handmade at Shearwater Pottery. Right. And uh, this is the time to get it. And um, Blue Moon, we can't forget them. That's right. And the art contest. Exactly. Make sure you visit the Blue Moon Art Contest tent um, near the food court um, next to the Beau Rivage stage and vote for your favorite Blue Moon Art Project piece. And then, of course, um, at the Beau Rivage Thursday night, 
they have a Blue Moon Dinner at Memphis Q. Um, Beau Rivage is selling tickets to that where you can actually find out what beers go well with different meals that you eat. So that's you a know, funny You know, I, I didn't know about Blue Moon Beer, uh, Cynthia, until you were on the show, uh, I think it was last year, and you were talking about it. And uh, I'm not a real big beer drinker, but, you know, I did try it. And, you know, they got some really interesting flavors. It's not just beer beer. It's, it's kind of like a specialty. Exactly. They do. They do. And they have a wide variety. I learned a lot just from them partnering with us and what type of community projects they actually do, um, including being a part of the Peter Anderson Festival, is a really neat thing. And thanks to this Blue Moon Art Contest, even more artists get a chance to showcase their work. And starting today through um, Friday, the Roasted Bean at the Beau Rivage will actually showcase some of these artists' work. So you can kind of get a little bit of a preview of what you can vote on this weekend at the festival. And you can get those tickets at the Beau Rivage for the Blue Moon. For the Blue Moon dinner, you can get those. Just go to the front desk um, and you can get some get your tickets, um, $60 a person um, for the Blue Moon dinner. And it is definitely an experience to go to. Cool. <laughs> we got one minute, so let's go over this. Peter Anderson Festival, 34th Annual, this weekend, City of Ocean Springs. Saturday starts at 9 a.m. Yep, goes till 5, 5 p.m. Sunday, 9, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And there are park and ride locations available. Ocean Springs Greyhound Stadium, uh, Oak Park Elementary, yep. the Upper Elementary, and if you're not familiar with that, folks, it's the old high school location. Correct. And uh, YMCA and CTA are providing the transportation to one of the locations they'll drop you right off at is the DMR outside Culinary Kitchen where you can go and sample some great seafood that mm -hmm. is being prepared by six very famous chefs, and you can get free cookbooks, recipe yes. cards, and the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. Ladies, I am excited about this. I'm excited about having you on the show. Uh, I'm excited about the Peter Anderson Festival and, uh, and what it brings to um, our county. And yes. it's, it's a great thing that you're doing, Cynthia, and I know you're working hard. Brooke, thank you for coming in to yeah. the show also. And Cynthia, anytime we can help you, just let us know. Thank you, Doug. Thanks for having us. Here. <laughs> And we're thankful that you watch this great show. Don't forget, Peter Anderson Festival this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, City of Ocean Springs. You can't miss it. It's a great time. We'll see you next time on another show.